when I uh, when I look back at that very old footage of me in Ethiopia, I see how dorky I was, and I think, oh yeah, I'm like way more cool now. But honestly, not that much has changed. Okay, that's good, Ryan. Keep it right there. All right. I mean, I hope that my work has gotten better, but maybe just a little bit. <laughs> I've been working on this project for over 13 years. That's a lot, bro. Ethiopia can get you like that. You know, there's no other place in the whole world like this. Uh, as a photographer, it's really endless. Endless, endless, endless beauty. <laughs> I've been to many countries around the world, but what I try to do is dedicate time to the same places again and again and again to get a little bit deeper. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This country has become part of his life. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have been traveling all over the country. We got deserts, we got jungles. Everything is like different. <laughs> over time, my work has had a very natural evolution from, you know, something very heavy handed with the flash to something more refined and mixed with natural light. Since the very beginning, my light has always been used to elevate the subject, but also the motivation is to bring cohesion to a very diverse body of work. Uh, right now, we're looking for a place to set the camera trap inside of the walls of the city. The hyenas are on the outskirts, but they come in here. So what I'm looking for is to set up the flash so when they enter, they're in the right spot. We can go straight up and backlight this area. Bring it up, bring it up. That looks really great. Let me try that. Oh, that's going to be good. Lighting is so important because it really is the grand unifier of everything in my work. Um, I really love when things are consistent and light can help everything feel as if it's from the same hand or the same eye. It's a very difficult place to work. I'm pretty confident, I'm not worried. But it's so easy to be fascinated with these people. Oh my god. It's so beautiful, man. It's so beautiful. You really have to dive deep and get past the first layer because the photos are about humanity and people and not just the place itself. As a teenager coming here, I was really drawn to the countryside area, to the tribal areas. How could you not? But as you dedicate more years here, you really begin to see the nuance of the country. Hello, what? hello, my hello. friend. The city culture, the overlooked things. <laughs> this book is about weaving together all these diverse places and people and uniting them in one cohesive style. Combined into one. 